in Cuba, if you grow up in Cuba and you don't play baseball, oh, you're not a good Cuban. It's like not drinking coffee. My, my story is a little bit kind of unique, kind of like gra gravitated to, towards this in a kind of a, a, a special way. I have a lot of like family members that, 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 that died of, of cancer, and I know the consequences, and it's not the fact that they die, it's just the, the, the quality of, of life. It gets impacted tremendously by cancer, and if I can even help a little bit of a cancer population uh, do better and have a better quality of life, uh, that, that will be uh, a reward enough for me. My name is Rainier Hernandez. I started as a graduate student in 2011 in the Department of Medical Physics here at UW-Madison. And at the same time, I joined the BTP program as, uh, as part of one, one of, the, of the trainees. And I recently graduated in 2016 from my PhD and now currently working in, in the Department of Radiology here at UW. Uh, the research I am doing now is, is basically on a, on a molecule that targets uh, cancer. And we're leveraging the targeting properties of this molecule to deliver either toxic radiation doses to cancer or deliver uh, imaging uh, doses of radiation. So depending on what we attach to our molecule, we can either treat the cancer or visualize the cancer. Now, since I'm trying to do more translational research, uh, I've come to realize that the industrial part is key. If you're gonna eventually make an impact in society, you have to like take it to the industry. Basic research, uh, as it in itself, is never gonna make the direct impact on the society. You need to go through the entrepreneurial part where you can actually make products and make things that I can actually, the, uh, the public uh, can, can use and benefit from. If everything works as expected and, and based on the in preliminary data that we have acquired, it, it could be, make a big impact.